Hi, Melissa. Adidas today setting out a number of ambitious goals for the next five years after coming off of its worst year, during which sales tumbled and operating profits slid more than 70 percent. Now the company is rolling out what it's calling own the game strategy. It projects 8 to 10 percent sales growth per year over the next five years by doubling its e-commerce sales and its direct-to-consumer business by 2025. CEO Casper Rorstad saying this year he expects double-digit growth fueled by market share gains in the U.S., in China, and in Europe, and a product pipeline that he says has been in the works for months. Also, the new stimulus money just passed in the U.S. should help. When stimulus goes into the market, it goes to what we call affordable luxury. We are in those categories, and people will tend to spend around our product area. So we're very happy with that zapping. Of course, what's much more important is that you get the vaccine done, you get to a you know, sustainable environment where people can start working again, and that's going to be the real kicker for the environment. So the stimulus is good. The much more important one is the vaccine, and that will help us drive growth for the next years to come. Rorschach went on to criticize Europe for a disappointing and slow rollout of its vaccine, says they haven't been doing a good job aside from the U.K., but he says it doesn't change Adidas's plans. The company also announcing today and teasing, really, a new partnership with Peloton. They've also hired some new creative stars like Jerry Lorenzo, who was previously at Nike, to build some excitement around a new basketball line at Adidas, which Rorschach said will be marked by lifestyle and not just by the athletics. You can watch the full interview with Casper Rorstad. Melissa, we talk everything from the future of retail to, of course, his partnership with Kanye West and the Yeezy line and whether he's considered putting him on the board as Kanye has demanded at 3 p.m. closing bell. We've got a lot more on that. Oh, that's quite a tease. I do have a question, Sarah, about uh, <laughs> Adidas's tough year last year. Why was it that it, it fared so poorly when the likes of a Nike and a Lululemon were able to capitalize on the trends of the pandemic, people staying at home, wanting comfy clothes, et cetera, et cetera. And now he thinks coming out of the pandemic, that's going to be its sweet spot. It's a really good question. And it's something that investors have to ask themselves. Adidas lost share in, in the U.S. footwear category, according to MPD Group. They lost about 90 basis points of share, down to 9.5% market share. So while we did see a lot of enthusiasm for athleisure, and you saw that in growth of Nike, Lululemon, even their tough competitor Puma over in Europe managed to outgrow Adidas. What Worstead is saying is that they're taking this opportunity to refocus. They're getting rid of Reebok, for instance. They're sort of consolidating when it comes to their strategy around sports, getting rid of more extraneous categories like a field hockey and just really focusing on basketball and running and lifestyle performance, focusing on three core geographies, North America, China, Europe. That, that's what the strategy conversation is about. But really, you and I know it comes down to who has the it sneakers. Mm -hmm. and, and really what we've seen there is that Yeezy and Kanye West continue to do well and continue to sell out right away. And that's helped. But the rest of the line just hasn't captured the imagination and the enthusiasm like, for instance, what we've seen out of Nike and out of some of the competitors. And that is something that Adidas is hoping to change. And he said they've been working 18 months on this new product pipeline, hired some new designers, and are ready to gear up and outgrow the category for this year. But now they have to execute and, and perform because they are making some big promises, which is why the stock is up. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.